Welcome to Backspace Nerds. I'm Anthony Pizarro. That's Andy Kirkman. Down there's Bob Torres with the uh, the rock eye. Um, at least he's not doing the and Pikachu, uh, which I think Pikachu is a little scary. I don't know. Um, it's just like when she leans closer to the camera like that, it's kind of spooky. And this is coming from a girl who doesn't like horror. Like if that's sitting there, it looks kind of creepy, you know? I don't know. That's just my take on it. I'm going to creep her out so that way when she's in the middle of the night, she'll look over and just be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So on today's episode, so Sandy made this <laughs> suggestion. Basically, we're all going to pick a favorite actor or actress and then show the group a trailer from that actor, actress, one of the movies that they have the trailer from to see that, that we have. Um, we all know who uh, Sandy's most likely going to pick. I'm still thinking about it. Bobby's probably still thinking about it. No, I'm, man. Really I'm going 80s. I don't what have is- a favorite actor or actress, so I can only pick one of my favorite trailers, maybe. You know? I'm going oh. 80s. So if he's just going 80s. Movie, it's just a movie that you appreciate, you know, oh. like the older movies. That so you many. Watch. All right. So uh, Sandy's going to kick it off. Can you please put on The King with Timothy Chalamet? Can you please put on The King with Timothy Chalamet? I know where that's getting. I love Timothy Chalamet. Don't yeah. give me a thumbs down already, Bobby. <laughs> I didn't do anything. If you can find someone that could introduce me to Timothy Chalamet, I will give you one of my basketball prison boxes. He's in New York right now. And just for everybody, I am not in Australia. I live in New York as well. All right, here goes the king. All right. Timothy Chalamet. This came out a couple of years ago. It's on Netflix. Do you think this oh, I remember this achievement? Shit. No regard. In any regard. <laughs> Do you? Wait, is this a trailer? <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this movie is brutal. Look at that. Like, they gave him a bowl cut. Hold on, man. I, I doubted you. The weight of this crown I, wear. I made a mistake. I would watch this. Timmy was so good in this. Every waking moment. His accent was so good. I need around me I can trust. Doesn't sound it because you're my friend. King has no friend. So he's Australian. King has only full. The director is Australian. And full. And this is Colin why you like it. This is the only reason oh you like God. it. Was no, that Batman? Pattinson put on like the best, the funniest French actor. Is that Batman? That was Batman. Even though he's got a pretty bad haircut, it was so storyline i mean yeah I, I was surprised man i thought i, I didn't think I, I, I honestly it's on netflix oh i'm watching that tonight are you really yes i am i was Why? I'm Why you... give me the give me the that's a thumb up man wow yay yeah, I'll give it oh up. come on man i i, I was shocked okay. i thought i thought it was gonna be extremely like you know lovey dovey girl Oh my god, no! He's such a good actor. That's so good. The game changer. The only reason she loves it is because it has Robert Pattinson. No, Robert Pattinson is number two. No, the combination. Okay, I don't want to spoil this, but Pattinson is not even in that movie for so long. So, Uh, uh, not what you think, though. uh, Or is it? No, it's not what you think. uh, But. No, 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 as in his character is very, very small. 
minuscule. You know, now that she 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 made this suggestion, there might be a little change to the way I think, right? So this ended up becoming a movie that the other two individuals didn't see, and now they're interested in seeing it. So now I think my choice isn't going to be a favorite actor or actress or even a movie that I like. It might be a film that the two of you have never seen that I think you should see based on the trailer. So, Bobby, you have something that maybe the two of us have never seen, but maybe, just maybe, you've seen it and you think that it's a great film for the rest of us to watch. Maybe <laughs> one of these that are like, uh, you know, the, 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 the underachiever, maybe the one that, that, that nobody really realized was a good flick, like John Wick. Like, you know, when that came out, everybody said, eh, when they saw it, everybody was like, oh shit, John Wick is a great I'll, I'll tell you mine, right? And this is just because it was a childhood favorite that I'm sure you guys have never seen. And when you see this trailer, if you can find this trailer, Young Einstein. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen Young Einstein. Okay. Right. Young Einstein. It's about uh, the creation of E equals MC square, but somehow beer is incorporated into that creation and the phone. That 1988, is 1988. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, watch it. Let's watch it. Okay. Oh, you're talking about the rock and roll guy. Yeah. It, it, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You seen it? I, I know the guy. I, I, okay. I, I don't know if I've seen it. Okay. Here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is so fun. Now show your screen. You know what? You should have put, you should have picked, uh, what's that movie with Val Kilmer? He's like one of his first films and he was a scientist. Um, damn it. Yeah, put it in the corners. Put it in the side. Yeah, I'll put it in the corners. And yeah. then put a bunch of question marks in the top. Yeah, anyway, anyway. This is, this, is, this is not what you think when I said you like. It's actually now, quite young. Australia's I colossal said. comedy hit. Starring its newest comedy <laughs> hero comes to the states. He reminds me of oh. Yahoo! Serious is Young Einstein. Albert, Albert Einstein. He is destined to create the most powerful scientific theories in history. I discovered the formula for splitting <laughs> beer atoms. Only one girl is brilliant enough to understand him. My name is Marie, Marie Curie. Only one man is low enough to steal from him. Albert discovers that there are even worse things in the big city than Ooh, a yeah. pie. pie. Oh, For example, an atomic bomb. If ever the world needed a revolutionary new theory, it's now. At last, the incredible untold story of the greatest mind of all time. Albert Einstein, thrill seeker, yeah. lover, oh my God. adventurer. <laughs> Genius. Who is this barbarian? I'm a Tasmanian. Warner Brothers proudly presents Yahoo Serious as Young Einstein. One seriously funny movie. I want to be like that. I think I saw this movie once. I think I saw it once. What made you on earth think of this film? Especially when she said favorite actor, or actress. <laughs> We, you you threw that out the window. You just said find the film. No, no, but you, this was no you. I, but you were gonna pick this film even before that. I wasn't. I had something else in mind. Oh, really? That's something else in mind. What but was you your original? Character. What was your original thought? Lionheart. You never watched Lionheart. Ah, see, you should have. Yes, I've seen. That. Okay, so uh, Sandy, what do you think about this? <laughs> I think it's. This. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Really? Wow. Yeah. Would you watch it? <laughs> I would, I would. It's like it's actually kind of like my type of movie. I've seen this once. I would probably maybe see it again. I'm gonna go this way. Like this and this one. And Bobby, of course, you're gonna go thumbs up. Okay. I would have played the Lost Boys, of course, because that's my favorite film. If I was looking for actor or actress, I'd probably pick like Al Pacino, Scarface, or like you know. I thought about that. Yeah. Or De Niro in like I don't know. Um, Goodfellas or some kind of like. But we're talking about films that you guys have possibly have never seen. But the one that really, really comes to mind is called Predestination, starring 
Ethan Hawke. Oh, I love he, Ethan Hawke. This film has such a twisted ending. You never see it coming. And huh. when I watched this film, I said, this is the craziest film. It's a, like a sci-fi based film. But I'm going to put, put the trailer for you right now. And the trailer probably is not going to even do it justice. But I feel like it's already a thumbs up because I love him. Yeah, Gallic- man. Gallic- yeah he's great. Like one of my favorite movies. You, you won me over when you said Ethan. Yeah. What's great about Ethan Hawke is that he's constantly like in trains around yeah. Chelsea. Like- he just seems like a really chill guy, you know? Yeah, he does seem like one. He seems he's like somebody. Like Hollywood. He's not like a Hollywood, typical Hollywood, you know. Predestination. What if I could put him in front of you? The man that ruined your life. If I could guarantee that you'd get away with it, would you kill him? Many New Yorkers are leaving the city in fear of a fifth attack by the fizzle bomber. Maybe he's doing the city a favor. It's that kind of talk can get you in trouble. The worst that I've already been through. There's something this job has taught me is that truth is stranger than fiction. You're not talking about bartending, are you? I'm not talking about bartending. Follow me right in here. Here we go. (sighs) Deep breath. We're in 1963. That's impossible. I'm a temporal agent. We prevent crime before it takes place. The fizzle bomber. His next explosion will leave 11,000 dead. You can do this. You have skills you've never had the chance to use, and I can give you that chance. I get to be a temporal agent? If you prove yourself. Do I have a choice? You always have a choice. Ten. Nine. I always knew something was different about me. You're a gift given to the world through a predestination paradox. You're the only one. You can save millions of lives. You must complete your mission. You must lay the seeds for the future. Here you are at the beginning of your new life. I know where I come from. Where do all you zombies come from? You're here to create history and influence what is to come. Time catches up with us all. The path you're on will take you to your destination. Crushed it, Anthony. Crushed it. I want to know what happened to the guy in the prison. Is he going to get out? (laughs) This movie is about time travel. Yeah. But it's about like a secret agent. This, the ending, when you guys, if you guys decide to watch. Oh, yeah, definitely. When you see the ending of this film, it's going to be like. So, Sandy, you give it a thumbs up. It reminds me of um, Justin Timberlake time. Times? Goodness. Uh, I forget what the name of that movie is, but on yeah. time, got time. On uh, out of time. Out of time, maybe. Yeah, kind of like that was great because the the, the timer was on. And yes, on. I love that. So anyway, that's our episode for uh, Backspace Nerds. We went through these movies. That's uh, that's it for us. So for myself, uh, Sandy Kirkman, Bobby Torres, Bobby, what's your handles? Comic books underscore n underscore art or Pat Cool TCG. And Sandy. Two ND pants. And also at Backspace Nerds. And then for myself, I'm at Anthony Pizarro underscore. That will do it for today's episode. And we hope to have an interview for the next episode, which would be nice. Um, so that, you know, look out for that as well. Continue to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for all the people that have subscribed. You know, we're slowly building up. It's there. It's chugging along. But we're getting there. We passed okay. our we passed our hundred mark. But yeah, so uh, from all of us, that's it. Backspace nerds out. Nerds out with the Z. With a Z.